Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to share how to operate a tea fall pressure cooker. If you are a beginner, then you have to watch this video. So, and in this video, I'm going to give your all question answers you asked me in my previous video. If you didn't watch that video, you can click on the top to watch this video. Today's video, I will cover A to Z information and how to operate this pressure cooker, how to use the lid and how to secure the lid, how to prepare the lid for your cooking and how to wash the lid and how to clean the pressure valve and how to check the pressure. And I will share one recipe with the timing and I will cover all the details during my cooking for your safety if your beginner must watch this video from starting to the end. If you just got a new pressure cooker like this, this is a tea fall pressure cooker and I will tell you how you can check the pressure before you cook anything in this pressure cooker. This is a 6 liter pressure cooker and it comes with a 5 security system and this is a stainless steel pressure cooker and you can operate with a one hand and now I'm going to tell you how you can prepare this pressure cooker before you cook anything in this. First, I will talk about how to secure the lid. First, let's talk about the lid. I'm going to secure my lid before I cook. So this is very heavy duty lid and it comes with a one rubber. This is included and this is also heavy duty, very thick rubber. First, you can put rubber inside, then you can secure all around. Once you are rubber in, then you can press nicely all around to secure again. So now this is ready to use. Now I'm going to tell you if you get a new pressure cooker, first you have to check a pressure. So this is a pressure indicator button. If this is up, it means pressure in. If this is down, it means there's no any pressure. Before we test this pressure cooker for pressure, you can remove this valve. I'm going to tell you how you can remove this. So you have to check this is nice and clean. You can check with your eye if you can see the hole is clear. So it means it's clear. This is ready to use. Now I'm going to tell you how you can open this pressure valve. So you can see there's a dot that one side is steam and one side is cooking. So you have to match the dot on a cooking side when you cook and right now we are not cooking and uh, this is the steam side you have to match the dot to dot then simply just press down and pull out before you use this pressure cooker learn how to clean this pressure cooker and uh, first you can remove the pressure valve i just share with you and remove the rubber and you can wash this lid in a dishwasher this dishwasher safe but i'm going to wash manually just use a soap and sponge and gently wash and you can see here I'm going to clean all over and this is the pressure valve and clean nicely all around and now I'm going to wash with the water you can use a warm water and clean pressure valve nicely use straight water into the pressure valve And here you can see water straight coming down to the pressure valve. It means the pressure valve nice and clean. And next I'm going to share if something stuck in a pressure valve, it happened during cooking. So this is normal. Then how you can clean that? I love to use straw cleaner brush. So this is very fine brush and this is soft brush. You just simply use this brush to clean the pressure valve. So clean all around. So this way you can clean the pressure valve. Always when you wash this, always check like this. I'm going to check here. If your water coming down nicely, it means it is clear. So now lid is clean and nicely washed. How you can drain all the excess water? Just to simply place like this and you can see all the water coming down so it will drain all the excess water and this way you can clean the rubber and the pressure valve and simply wash and dry then we will test this pressure cooker for pressure Once 
once you check is nice and clean now how to insert it you can see this is a plastic this is an extra piece on a both side so the same you can see on a lid so you have to insert on a proper way like this so match dot to dot on a steam just simply place in and you can press it down and now this is ready to use now just to simply check a pressure to check the pressure you can add a water one third or less than one third now you can place a lid on a top and you can operate with the one hand just press down to lock and turn the pressure valve on a cooking side like this and now you can put the temperature on a max and now you can wait for the red button this is a pressure indicator button when the pressure build inside the pressure cooker then it will come up now pressure fully build in this pressure cooker and you can see the steam coming on a pressure valve and if you see any other steam coming around it means your lid not locked properly so what you can do just release the pressure valve slowly and take out all the pressure out then you can operate again so you can turn valve on a steam side so slowly not all the way on a steam just little by little and go on a half way and this way you can release all the pressure now we just check a pressure in our new pressure cooker now this is ready to cook anything so this comes with a five security system you don't have to worry about now i'm going to cook a one recipe during recipe i will cover all your question answer you asked me in my previous video so we will cover each and every detail today's recipe i'm going to make a green piece with the cheese if you like to see how to make a dry vegetables like beans chickpea all type of beans pinto beans black beans so i made a special video on three recipes how much water you need how much timing this recipe will need so if you like to see this video this video up on my channel and uh, one in english and one in a hindi so you can click on a top to watch this video in this video i give so many information with the three recipes hope this help for today's recipe i'm going to use onion garlic ginger and uh, tomato puree and going to crush these all and now this is ready to use and in a pressure cooker straight i'm going to use a oil around three to four tablespoon and now i'm going to add cumin seeds now you can saute and uh, after two minutes i'm going to add our crushed ginger garlic and onions now you can cook at least 2 to 3 minutes until it golden brown this tarka or masala i'm cooking on a medium heat now this is golden brown and i'm going to add tomato puree Now I'm going to add spices. This is a turmeric, half teaspoon, and half teaspoon of red chili. You can use according to your taste. Half teaspoon of garam masala, half teaspoon of dry methi leaves, and you can mix this well. now i'm going to add a half teaspoon of salt and you can mix this well and cook until you can see the oil on a top or on a sides so this tarka is ready to use and you can see the oil on a top now i'm going to use this paneer you can cut it in a small pieces and we are going to use this green piece and i cut it in a cubes and uh, 
now we can add this paneer in this tarka now you can mix this wall and coat in a tarka masala we prepared for our recipe so this is nicely coated and i'm going to cook at least two minutes you can add uh, potatoes if you like to my kids like potatoes so i'm going to add and the same way you can cover with the masala and cook at least another two minutes now this is nicely cooked now i'm going to add a green peas and the same way you can cover with the masala and coat it and cook at least another two minutes then we will add a water now you can add four and a half cups of water then you can mix it well do not fill the unit over two third of full when cooking food that expand during cooking such as rice or dry vegetables so do not fill the unit over one third of full overfilling may cause risk of clogging the vent pipe and developing excess pressure now i'm going to place a lid and i will give you a question answer press red button on a top to lock and now you can turn on a cooking side now right after i'm going to turn my stove on a max so before i cook on a medium now on a max now our lid is closed now we have to wait for pressure now you don't have to move this i know this is loose this is normal so never move your um lid like you ask me in my video once you close if there is any pressure i can recommend don't move the lid here i'm going to give you one tip i love to use when i close my lid so this is easy to remember you can see the black uh, plastic on a lid and black handle so you can match on a both side like this when you place this lid on a top then you can operate with the one hand just to simply press down the red button when you press the red button the red button come out then turn on a cooking side and your lid is secure and now you just have to wait for the pressure so this is the red indicator button this is a pressure button a pressure building up and now you can see the red button is up this pressure cooker under pressure so you don't have to touch the lid the right way you can set a cooking time for this so recipe i'm going yeah. to set a time for 8 to 10 minutes now you can see the pressure so the steam coming out in a pressure valve so you have to check the steam only have to come out from the pressure valve and you have to check around if you see all around if there is any steam coming out so you can release the pressure and you can lock this lid again the question you ask for the noise how much noise this pressure cooker do this is not an old-fashioned pressure cooker this pressure cooker have not much noise so you can hear so this much noise this pressure cooker do this is not too much just a steam coming out after eight minutes you can turn off the stove and i'm going to keep my recipe under pressure so this way all the spices flavor oil will stay in this this red button will take at least 10 minutes to go down by itself if you like to release the pressure earlier you can do that too but gently don't open all the way on a steam side half way from the cooking on a half way you can open and uh, then pressure will come out slowly when the red button is down it means this pressure cooker have not any pressure so now you can see the all pressure is gone now you can turn on a steam side and you can open and your recipe is ready to serve might be your recipe will take a less or more time that is totally depend on your stove temperature hope this video will be helpful guys and uh, i give you all the detail in this video and uh, if you still have any other question just let me know in a comment section down below and if you like to see other related video with this you can click on a top to watch that video or you can check my description box down below 
Hope you like today's video. If you like this video, like, comment and share and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're watching me first time, welcome to my channel. Or if you're watching me from long time, didn't subscribe yet, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video and I will see you in another coming video. Until then, take care guys and bye. This video not a sponsored video and I just review this product for you because I love to use this default pressure cooker. So this is a Clispo default pressure cooker. This is a 6 liter. It comes with a 5 security system and this is easy to control and this is stainless steel and you can operate with the one hand. This pressure cooker comes with the instruction book. So before you use this pressure cooker, must read that all. They have so many information how to use this pressure cooker. Read all the instruction before you use this pressure cooker.